Hi, I'm Laura Herring. Or am I Rita? Or am I Camilla? Keep watching 50 films to see before you die. Channel 4. I didn't fully understand Mulholland Drive. I didn't fully understand it. But I was mesmerized throughout. I think you could describe David Lynch as America's premier surrealist. He's uh, an incredibly gifted director who's always been attracted to dream worlds, to fantasy, to characters who are, who are deluded. What are you doing? We don't stop here. Get out of the car. He's fascinated with the unconscious, with dreams, and how dreams fracture and disrupt the surface of everyday reality. And Mulholland Drive is one of the most accomplished examples of his work. It seems to be two different stories that are linked together. One about two women who meet and fall in love after one of them's been in an accident and lost all her memory. I just don't know who I am. What do you mean? You're Rita. Then it becomes another story where one of them is a sort of washed up actress who's trying to make it in Hollywood and the other one's successful. I think it has a lot of themes playing, one of which is um, that life is an illusion, that part of life is a dream. And in Mulholland Drive, you get to decipher which part is a dream, which one's real, which makes it very interesting. No, I, Banda, there is no band. Il n'est pas de orchestra. This is all. When we sat down and watched the whole film, it was just Naomi and I. And Naomi and I were holding hands watching it. And when the credits rolled, we couldn't say a word. We were dumbstruck, just wow. I love films that make you ask important questions, meaningful questions, questions that can linger in your head. Not necessarily that there's an answer to, but I think an open mind is the only mind to have. This is one of those things that kind of keeps on going on the internet and talk boards and, and communities about what, 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 it, what has happened in, in Mulholland Drive. And I think that the essence that you're never really told, and David Lynch, to his eternal credit, never spells it out for you, is what makes the film so compelling and, and still so fascinating to us today.